The African elephant, Loxodanta africana. In Swahili, we call them tembo. Elephant tusks are actually teeth, and these are the main reason why these animals are poached all over the world. Male elephants have much bigger tusks, and they also vary in size among individuals. Some elephants are born tuskless, and they remain tuskless throughout their whole life. Size of the tusk does not imply the age. This individual here is quite old, but the tusks are quite short. Just like human beings, elephants are either right or left-handed. This one is right-handed, as the right tusk is more used and worn out than the other one. Females have more angled forehead, while males have more rounded forehead. Elephant skull is big, and inside is hollow. It is made up like honeycomb formation, making it much lighter, reducing the weight of the head. Male elephants are bigger in size. An adult may weigh up to six tons, while females may weigh four to five tons. Female elephants live in matriarch family, about five to 15 members, while most males live in bachelor groups. Just like humans, elephants' breasts are on their chest, between the front legs. Elephants communicate with each other by touching, smelling, rumbling. and by trumpeting. Kicking young elephants like this one, it's more for discipline. When elephants sense danger, they choose to avoid confrontation and depart peacefully. Flapping elephants' ears help to regulate their body temperatures. Regular dusting like this helps keep the ticks away. The matriarch society consists of mothers, daughters, sisters, aunts, and some young bulls. While feeding, elephants usually disperse and feed in different areas. But in case of danger, all members unite near the matriarch and they will move together in a group as a single unit, placing the young ones in the middle. During dry season, the matriarch leads her family to water sources. She has very good knowledge and memory of the area. She got this knowledge by experience, learning from the former matriarch. This practice makes elephants successful in raising their families generation after generation. Elephants do need a lot of water. They need about 200 liters of water per day. Elephants like splashing water to their bodies. And they are also very good swimmers. This young bull play mounts. He mounts the other elephant. But this is more for showing dominance. They like playing at the pool. This act helps build a bond among individuals. After swimming, it's time for dusting and then mud bath. A layer of mud helps protect the elephant's skin against the sun and also against ticks. Arrival of this dust storm indicates it's time to go. and the elephants call it a day.